Hi everyone and welcome back uh, to this series of uh, electromechanical energy conversion questions and this is our third question about the magnetic circuit. So here in this question we have this core material so it's made from the same material there is no air gap as you can see here but here there is something different that the width of the material is different from one section to another. So if you look here carefully this leg to the left hand side has one width which is 10 centimeter the top and the bottom has 15 centimeter as its width and the last leg to the right has a five centimeter width so it's not a uniform width what is the implications of that as we know the reluctance is equal to l the length or the mean path length divided by mu zero mu r times times a. Now, if we change the length, meaning if we go from one branch to another, we will have different reluctances. When we change the material, let's go from a magnetic material to an air gap, then you will have two different reluctances. Now, again, also here, if we change the cross-sectional area, then we will have different reluctances. So although everything in series and the flux we have here is in series, but we will have different reluctances. So this is the first thing, or this is the new thing in that specific question. Let's see what we have here. The depth of the core is five centimeter. So the depth is uniform for all parts of the core material. And we want to find I, what is the value of the current I, that it will produce a flux that's equal to 0 0.005 Weber. Now, because it's uh, everything in series, we have only one flux going through the whole, the whole material. And then we want to find what is the flux density at the top part and the flux density at the right leg. And we know that mu R is equal to 8, 800. So basically, when you look to this, we will have, let's say, three different widths, meaning that our equivalent circuit will have the MMF that is coming from the NI in the number of turns times I, I. Then we have the flux going up. Then we have the three reluctances in series. So we have reluctance one, reluctance two, reluctance three. So let's assume reluctance one is the top and the bottom part. And because everything in series, we can add them. Excellent. So we need to specify what is the mean path link for the top part and the bottom part. So for reluctance one, is equal to L1 divided by mu zero mu R times A1. So what is L1? So basically L1 is the distance from the middle of the left leg to the middle of the right leg. So your L1 is equal to the 20 centimeter plus five plus 2.5. And because we have a mirror for that, we have exactly the same length at the bottom part. So I will multiply this by, by two times 10 to minus, minus two to convert everything into meter, divided by mu zero, four pi times 10 to minus seven, times mu r, which is 800, times the cross-sectional area of the top part, which will be the width, times the depth, which will be the depth is constant 0 0.05 meter or 5 centimeter times 15 or 0.15 meter. So when you do the calculation, you'll find the reluctance one is equal to 72.9 times 10 to power 3 ampere turn per Weber done with the first reluctance with this one. Now, the second reluctance will be the reluctance to the left, which is this one. 
This is the mean path for that. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you call it, relactance one, two, or three, because everything is series, so it doesn't really matter, and you can put them anywhere you want in the circuit. So, relactance two will equal to L2 divided by mu zero, mu R, A2. Now, L2 will be equal to that 15 centimeter, which is this distance, plus to the top half of the 15, which is 7.5, to the bottom again, half of the 15, which is another 7.5. So this is total of 30 centimeters times 10 to minus 2 to convert it back to meter, divided by. Now, mu here is the same because we have the same material. So it is 4 pi times 10 to minus 7 times 800. This doesn't change. Now, the cross-section area will change. The depth will be the same, 0 0.05, but the width will be different, which is 0 0.1. And you do the calculations here, you will find this is equal to 59.7 times 10 to power 3 ampere turn per per Weber. Finally, the last reluctance, we will have exactly the same length because this is like a mirror for that. It's the same. This is exactly the same length as reluctance two. So L3 and L2 will be the same, which is 30 centimeters. So it's 30 times 10 to minus two divided by, everything will be the same, four pi times 10 to minus seven times 800 times 0 0.05. The only difference here is the width. The width is 5 centimeter or 0 0.05. The depth is 5 centimeter and the width is 5 centimeter. And this will give me a total of 119.4 times 10 to power 3 ampere 10 per per weaver. Now we found Reluctance one, reluctance two, and reluctance three. Now they are in series, so I can just add them. So my equivalent circuit now will be my MMF in series with the total re reluctance, reluctance equivalent. So this reluctance equivalent will equal to reluctance one, reluctance two, and reluctance three. And this will give me 252 times 10 to power 3 ampere 10 per per weaver. So we found the total reluctance. Okay. Now, and we know the flux that's going here. So we know that the MMF, which is equal to NI, will equal to the flux times R equivalent or reluctance equivalent. So we know everything. So from this, we can find I is equal to flux times R equivalent divided by N. So the flux uh, that we have is 0 0.005. Total reluctance, 252 times 10 to the power 3 divided by the number of number of ter, which is 500. If you do that, you will find that the current is around 2.5 amp. This is the current. So this current will produce this flux in that specific structure. Finally, it says, what is the flux density at the top part? The flux density is nothing but the flux divided by the area. So the flux density at the top part equal to the same flux, 0.005 times the cross-sectional area of the top part, which is 0.15, the width of the material times the depth, which is 0 0.05, and this is 0 0.67 Tesla. The flux density to the right part, again, is the same flux divided by the area. Now, the area here, the width is 5 centimeter, or 0 0.05 meter, and the depth is also 0 0.05 meter. So this is equal to 0 0.05 times 0 0.05, and this will give us 2.00 Tesla. So here in this question, the new idea 
how to deal with a structure that has different uh, different width then you will have different cross-section area and you will have different reluctances so although everything is in series we will have three different different reluctances